My name is Jamie Rigdon and I'm a board certified medical oncologist or cancer doctor. I work here at Liberty Hospital with St. Luke's. HPV is human papillomavirus and it is a very common virus. Over 80% of us have been exposed to it and once you have it, you can't get rid of it. This virus can cause cancers and it causes 33,000 cancers a year in the United States. These cancers occur in six different locations in the body and they can be very difficult to treat once people get the cancer. A vaccine has been developed to prevent people from catching this virus. That vaccine has been out since 2006. Over 270 million people worldwide have been vaccinated with it, 100 million people in the United States alone. That vaccine can decrease the risk of developing this cancer by 90%. So annually, 33,000 people get an HPV-related cancer every year in the United States. That could be decreased to 3,000 people. Human papillomavirus causes six different types of cancers. Those are cancers of the oral cavity, like the tongue and the gums and the tonsils. Those are cancers of the cervix, the vagina, the vulva, the anus, and the penis. The cancers associated with human papillomavirus are treatable, but in the areas that we're talking that people develop the cancers, the treatment can be very harsh. If you can imagine having part of your tongue removed or part of your penis removed, that leaves you with horrible quality of life outcome afterwards. So even if you're cured of the cancer, the treatment can be awful. If you can't have surgery, then we're talking chemo and radiation. And imagine pointing radiation at an area like your mouth or your pelvic area. Getting through the treatment, I would have to say, is one of the top worst treatments that I have to give people. Unfortunately, the side effects from the treatments can continue even after people are done with therapy where they never can swallow normally again. Of course, women diagnosed with cervical cancer, they can't have children. Um, there can be changes in bowel and bladder that never ever go away. These cancers are not limited to people who are older. These cancers happen in 20-year-olds. So you're talking about a 20-year-old woman who will never be able to have children because she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. Um, so the cancers aren't something that just happens in old age and your risk is lifelong. So vaccinations can be given as early as age nine, but the peak years are age 11 to 13. And the FDA has approved vaccinations up to age 46, but once you've been exposed to the HPV virus, the vaccine can't protect you anymore. It's usually a series of two uh, vaccinations if they're done early. If they're done later in life, then it's three shots. So another benefit of getting in that peak 11 to 13 age range is two vaccinations and you get a good immune response to it. <music>